Boko Haram terrorists attacked Kogi prison, gave chief imam in jail assault rifle to join them. Greetings to all my fellow countrymen and women. I guess we're all doing great in our respective locations. To all my subscribers and yet to be subscribers, I wish you a wonderful and beautiful Tuesday. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. A source also told Sahara reporters on Monday that after their arrival, the terrorists gave an octo assault rifle to the chief imam for the inmates said to be a Boko Haram commander. Gunmen who recently broke into the correctional centers in Kaba, in the Kaba Bono local government area of Kogi State, are Boko Haram terrorists, Sahara reporters learned. A source also told Sahara reporters on Monday that after their arrival, the terrorists gave an auto assault rifle to the chief imam for the inmates, said to be a Boko Haram commander. According to the source, the Boko Haram commander, an inmate of the prison, had taken up the role of chief imam at the correctional center leading other Muslims to prayer. It was Boko Haram terrorists that broke into Kaaba prison, the source said. The chief imam for the inmates is apparently a Boko Haram commander and when the government arrived, they handed him an auto assault rifle. Just a week ago, Sahara reporters reported as some prisoners, gunmen attack the correctional center in Kaaba, freeing inmates. The prisoners who were in their hundreds were said to have escaped after the gunmen attacked the prison located along Kaaba Lokoja Highway late on Sunday, September 12th. Though security officers comprising 15 soldiers, 10 policemen, and 10 armed guards of the Nigeria Correctional Service, NCOS, were at the facility at the time of the attack. The gunmen were able to break into it. They killed a soldier and a policeman during the attack. Sola Fashure, media advisor to the Minister of Interior, Raf Aregbeshala, had said in a statement, the assailants thereafter set the prisoners free. The early morning downpour on Monday aided their escape as the building housing the inmates were reportedly submerged by flood. According to the statement, the Kaaba custodian facility had 294 inmates as of the time of the attack and only 28 inmates did not escape. It said many of the two 66 inmates initially unaccounted for were able to escape after the gunmen used explosives to destroy three sides of the perimeter fence. Later, Sisan Nehi, the Kogi Correctional Service spokesman, said no fewer than 114 inmates from the Kaaba Correctional Center had voluntarily returned or been rearrested. Nehe was quoted as saying, We have about 114 inmates back now. Some of the inmates returned themselves, but I cannot give a definite figure for that. In fact, two just returned not too long ago. Some of the inmates were brought back by their parents. We have a search party with other security agencies to capture the remaining inmates. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please click on the notification button down below. I see you even as you do so. May the blessings of God Almighty never cease to overflow in your lives as you all support my channel. Amen. A whole Nigeria Correctional Service in the state have only 294 inmates. But if it is in South, 
each of Nigeria Correctional Services have more than 600 inmates. So no crime in Kogi to have only 294 inmates. For where bandits fall everywhere, hmm, like play like play, they are approaching the south inch by inch. Yet we are not doing anything. Oh, let me bring to our notice that the chief imam is also a Boko Haram member. So what are we saying? Ah, shy. You can imagine a a prison that has 10 soldiers, 10 mopo, and several armed warders to protect the prison could not defeat the terrorists. Possibly because they are also terrorists in uniform, recruited as the so-called repentant terrorists. But they will have courage when they are deployed to kill NSAS protesters and other unarmed civilians in the country. And we end with this parable. If you believe or trust news of Boko Haram sur surrendered, it's just like trusting Higot when he's under control with rope on his neck. But when you remove the rope and bring she goat, will the he goat maintain the same gentility? Then the matter is settled. But we know it's not possible for he goat to change from spiritual smelling odors. That is exactly what Boko Haram are. They will never change genuinely. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please, if this is your first time here, click on the notification button for more updates. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.